What's up, everybody? I want to talk about four ways that you can be a more effective post scorer. Now, these are not all tips about how to score in the post, because being effective doesn't always mean you're scoring. What I mean by effective is helping your team win more games, all right? So please drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. And here's, you know, four tips of how to become a better post scorer, more effective post scorer. The first one is starting position. Too many people start far away on their post up. That just invites people to spam X. You see, I catch it here in the paint. I do one change of uh, shoulder and then a drop step, and I score. The, the longer you're backing down for, the more chances there are that people are going to spam X on you. You see the starting position here. I seal inside of him. Seal position so that you don't even have to make a move. Just bump him, go up, and you get an easy two. Your starting position can help you stop uh, getting spammed with the X button. Now, change positions in the post. Flick the stick down or back, depending on camera relative or absolute, and you will not get stripped. They can spam X all they want. If you keep changing shoulders, you see he's spamming. I keep changing shoulders while I back down and you won't get stripped. It's going to be a foul. You see, he's still spamming. He's not going to strip it. He's going to foul you if you keep changing shoulders. Very effective tip. Tip three, understand the pick and roll. You see here, he's standing in the paint. My guy, you got to read that. Now I, I know all I have to do is set a good screen. Look at how far away he is. He's in the paint. I know all I have to do is set a good screen. I brick wall him, get my teammate open. He's going to have an open three all day. Now let's check out another scenario. Now here, freeze. I see he's pushed up now. I'm going to slip it. I'm not even going to screen. I'm just going to fake the screen and cut straight to the basket. You see, boom, I'm going to get an easy dunk. You have to read where your defender is. He is the help defender. You have to understand the situation. Again, I see he's pushed up. I'm going to cut right to the hoop. I'm going to get a dunk or a layup. Also, if the weak side help from the corner comes, then you're going to have to pass to the corner for an open three. Here's another example. They're playing sides on this one. You see my guys pushed up. Again, I'm going to fake the screen, and I'm going to cut straight to the hoop and get a dunk. Here we go. I cut. I destroy them. I get a dunk. If they're going to play sides, you have to time that cut so that you get an easy two. Boom, fake the screen, cut straight to the hoop. You have to understand the pick and roll if you want to be an effective center in general, not just a post scorer. Tip number four, do not force it. Just because you get it in the post doesn't mean you have to go up. You see, I, I did the switch shoulders. I tried to drop step them. I didn't like the situation I was in. I kicked it out, and we got a game-winning three anyways. Too many people I see, just because they get it in the post and they're a post scorer, they think they have to score. Bro, it's not. I don't think it's on. I think I might get blocked or miss a layup. I'm going to kick it out, give my teammate an open look from three. Those are my four tips. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.